Uh, I keep it icy on my neck, neck. I don't get angry because I'm next, next. She be the Nikes with the text, text. I don't get angry because I'm next, next. I keep it icy on my neck, neck. I don't get angry because I'm next, next. She be the Nikes with the text, text. I don't get angry because I'm next. What's going on, YouTube? This is your boy, Forever Brandon TV, coming back to you guys with another video. And on this video, it's focusing on my cousin's album that debuted. And let me do a drum roll on the infamous, lovable Apple music. Yes, my cousin finally thought about the Apple lovers. Come on now. You guys got to give it up for me. I got to give them some claps. His album is on Apple goddamn music. Now, let me get into this, y'all. Can you believe it's not? This is what? This is this is a dream come true. Because this is a dream come true. Anytime you are on Apple music, that that is, you guys know that is how people are making the money nowadays. You know, that's how people, because, you know, people barely buy CDs. The, the online streaming is the way to go. Apple Music is how people get their royalties. You know, as far as uh, all, all, the, all the streaming devices as well, like Spotify or like um, um, Tidal. Like, you know, this is how, you know, people are making their bread. Apple Music, on the other hand, because there are so many Apple users, this is good. My cousin has made the right decision. Anyway, let me get into this album. This is his best album guys this is no easy feelings guys i have heard this album time and time again it is good as 12 tracks guys all the tracks are strong and in my opinion i think that like every song has a very is every song is like very cohesive to the sound um like really listening to it on my phone like i just really really get the deal like on, on my headphones i really get like the actual quality like the good quality of like each song and it's just really really this a really good album Okay, let's get into this album cover. The album cover is everything. I love how my cousin is portraying himself as being the shrink and the patient. Now, I live for just just everything about it. Like, it has kind of like this blue cloud, and he has like the seat. And I'm just, I'm just really, really living for it. I'm just living for everything. He has the sofa going on. He has the gun in his hand. This is just, this is just the best era of the mogul. I'm sorry because every song, it just, it, it just really, really fits. Just, it's no easy feelings. You know, he's getting a lot off. He's getting a lot off his chest. Then he has bop after bop after bop after bop. I'm telling you, each song will keep you on your toes. When I'm telling you. Number one, it's about crime, which is one of my favorite songs. It's about crime. Okay, get into it, y'all. This shit is cold. I'm telling you, I, 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 one of my cousins showed me this shit. When he first showed me this shit, I, I was. Out my seat. Y'all know how it is. When I first hear a song, I be out my seat. I was out my seat and I was living for it and I loved it. It was everything, y'all. Get into it. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited. It's about crime. And the fact that it's on the fact that it's on goddamn Apple Music. Oh my god, I'm so excited about that. Front stabbing, which is the second song. <laughs> Yo, front stabbing is, you know, him coming with that heat. He's coming with blood. He's coming with, you know, it's just him getting a lot off his chest. Uh, and I really, really like it. Bud Drillican. Now, this is cuz. This is what I'm going to do the review for the Bud Drillican video. I did not get a chance to do a video review last year. I'm a year late because I've been so busy with school. You, you guys know I've been so busy with school and stuff like that. But now, since I'm not in school or not as busy as I used to be, this is, this is, uh, I'm finally going to review Bud Drillican. Can we talk about it? I appear on the video. We did a photo shoot. 
shout out to my girl uh jasmine who is like my my new bff and who was kind of like my personal photographer shout out to her she photographed us uh he had a camera person coming uh, come over to my house and me my brother and and, and 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 my other cousins and my uncles and uh you know uh all my all my cousins and them were all over here and we were all in the video the video shoot was amazing i loved it it was like really my first video shoot ever being appeared in the video um i was kind of just like the backup boy but i really really did uh, get into just like the, uh, the 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 theme of it, and it was just really really good. Bud Jellican is kind of like Bud Billiken. The Bud Billiken parade is what they have every year uh, in Chicago. Um, you know uh, when it comes to, when it gets around to like school. Now uh, this uh, was just uh, the way my cousin did it was so professional. Uh, it was just so well put together, and I just was glad to be a part of it. I was in the video. My brother was in the video. My cousin Sean, who I also want to shout out was cold at the end of the video he did an amazing dance a cold ass dance y'all know he's you know we all dancers in this family but uh i just wanted to to, to, uh, to give a shout out to him because like he stole the video in my opinion you know he just was really giving it his all um bud drillican is one of my favorite goddamn songs on this album because it's it's, it's, it's cold <laughs> but you look at drill 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 that is cold i'm saying that's the coldest shit i ever heard so he switched it up they say bud billiken but he switched it up and put bud drillican you know he, he speaks a lot about uh, uh you know the things that's going on in chicago about you know it's it's it, it, it's it's cold it's the way he you know flipped it with the with the lyrics and what the song is talking about is cold and is a dedication to Chicago because you know my cousin reps Chicago all the time so I have to give it to her. Contra, which is another one of my favorite songs on here, also produced by my cousin Five Thousand and Three. Um, yes, guys, Contra is a, another song that's really, really amazing that uh, I've loved time and time again. Uh, uh, the beat is amazing and also is dedicated to the original Sega game or, 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 or was it Sega or was it? Was it what's game system that was? Anyway, uh, it was on one of the older game systems back in the eight, like the maybe like the late eighties or early eighties or something like that. And it uh was a was a very popular game. It's, and the song that he kind of dedicated to is called Contra, you know. But he kind of put in his own words and uh you know dedicated to like uh crime that's going on. Thank you, 5,000. Moving that way like a team. You're moving right to that knowledge. Yeah, this is Contra. Trying to get the juice in the charger. Super Rumi means in the monsters. Nigga, that's Contra. I love it. I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. It's cold. Um, The Sky is Falling, which is uh one of my favorite songs. And I love the video as well because I think I reviewed If I remember correctly, did I review this? Yes, I did review the video. Um, I did... However, I loved it because the video was so well put together, you know, just the, the, the little pool party and just everything that was going on in that video, I just loved it. <laughs> Bop after bop after fucking bop on this album. I'm living for it. Yes, uh, the sky's falling is, is cold. It's one of my favorites. Of, uh, one of my favorite songs. Single with singles. Yeah, I'm single with singles. I'm single with singles. Single, single with singles is kind of like talking about a relationship, um, and I loved it. You know, it, uh, it kind of goes, it's kind of like the first part to the other song, um, you know, it, but only this was him. It's kind of like he's in his feelings about being single with singles, and I love it. I like the way he did it, and it's cold. You know, I'm single with singles. I'm saying that um, it kind of reminded me a little bit, kind of had a little 3-6 Mafia and a little bit of 
uh, Gucci Man sort of Gucci Man uh, Three Six Mafia vibes, which is what I was, which is why I really like this song. The next song is that pole for her. <laughs> And this shit sounds so good on my box. Oh my god. Pova is is cold. It's cold. And I love it. I love the song. Um, and it's like one of those, another one of those strip anthems that my cousin comes up with, and I love it. Is 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 good. Uh, the next song is next. Y'all know, and he knows this is my favorite song. I love this entire album, but next is probably my favorite song on this album because it has a groove about it. And y'all know I like groovy ass music. I like a song that you could just you know, just get up to and just listen to over and over and over and over and over and over again. This is just one of those songs that I just really, really cannot stop listening to. And it's just my favorite. And um, my cousin premiered this song, New Year's, because we were all, we had a little kickback at my aunt's crib. And he played the song. And when I heard it, you know, he actually called me down just to listen to it because he felt like I would like it. And when I heard it, I wanted to play it over and over and over again. So next is just a bop, a certified bop. And I'm loving it. <laughs> Bitch, that is my shit, okay? Get into it, get into it, get into that next, okay? Um, and I love it because it just has it's one of those party, it's one of those club party joints that you just you you dancing and you just y'all you just in there with your with your with, with a, a crowd. It's you just having a party. I love it. 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 One of my favorite songs. Back there, when I'm telling you, this song was only like two minutes and thirty one seconds. This shit is cold because when my cousin premiered this, he showed me this last year when I graduated for associates at my little party that I had. And um and I liked it. It's also a feature of my cousin five thousand and three. Because the song is so short, it makes you want to listen to it over and over and over again. <laughs> Hey, his nasty ass go. Ah, here he go. Now, y'all know my cousin got a potty mouth and he nasty as shit. But I fucking love this song. Uh, he, you know, I don't want to get too deep into it because I'll be, cause here he go. Here he go. Again. With his nasty stuff. But anyway, y'all, this this song is cold because I really, really like the beat. But this is just this is just one of those typical mogul songs where you just gotta listen to it. You be like, <laughs> look at him like <laughs> But uh this is one of those songs that you listen to when you in the mood. And it got a lot of energy to it. So you know. But anyway, the next song is We the Ones uh featuring um <laughs> That's a picture of my boy Snake, extravagant, and uh, those are my boys, okay, get into it. Uh, Snake, as always, because he's another guy that is on my list as far as my cousin, because, you know, they've been friends and we all become like family. So, yeah, Snake, I have to give a shout out to him because that's my boy. Um, and then, uh, also, uh, We The Ones is a cold-ass song. I love it. Is it just talking about how they, the ones, they in their clique, you know, in the elite circle, uh, and, and uh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. He is, it's a dedication to that, and this is, is one of my, it's another one of my favorite joints. The next song is Hope. This is another one of my so favorite songs on here, apart from next, and apart from the, the entire album is about, but y'all know, I got my favorites. 
Hope, I think, is another one of my most favorites because he just talks about everything that he hopes for. Uh, uh, he hopes for, uh, he hopes that, uh, you know, he hopes for a lot of things. You know, he talks a little bit about his kids. He talks a little bit about the future, about his future. Uh, he just, it's just a very, it's just a really, talks. he talks a lot about Chicago becoming better. Uh, and it's really a thoughtful song, I think, because he just really, really breaks it down uh, with, with hope. And I, lo I love it. I said I hope Chicago personally get hyped like I'm dope. I said I hope Chicago works to me like I'm the Pope. And I hope Chicago works to me like I'm the Pope. I said I hope Chicago personally get hyped like I'm dope. I said I hope Chicago works to me like I'm the Pope. I said I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope. I said I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope. I said I hope. Wait, y'all gotta y'all gotta wait till I get to my favorite part because it ain't came up yet. Hold up. Do y'all hear the way he did that drop? I said, I hope H O P E. I said, I hope I know. I love it, y'all. I love it. When he brought it down like that, uh, uh, what did, did I hear this song? I heard this at my cousin's bachelor party. And I was high as shit when I heard it. But I loved it. And when I heard it, I was in the car with my other cousins. And we, we, me and my cousin, me and my other cousin, we just really, really got into the song. When I listened to it, I was on a high for real. When I heard it, I loved it. But yes, y'all, I got into the song and I loved it. I loved it because I love what he's talking about. It's positive. And it's it, it's just I, it's just a really good song. And when I, when he did that hope H that fucked me up. The way he did that drop, I said I hope. And then the beat came down with it. It did that doom 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 doom. I was living for that shit. I said way up, God damn. I was going off, and I loved it. The next, the next, and the last song is the self-titled song of the album. It's No Easy Feelings, which I think is perfect for the last song. Y'all know I reviewed the song. I reviewed the video. No Easy Feelings is one of those songs that you have to just really get into because it talks about a lot. So many people, you know, uh, 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 have had suicide prevention and suicidal thoughts. And this is a song I think that can really, really help people that have those type of thoughts. And this is why this album is like a therapy to my cousin and and I think I, I love the direction of the album. The song lineup is perfect. And it's just probably one of my favorite albums of his. Even though I love all his stuff, this album, I think it's him and his best right now. And the album cover, is, I think it's his best album cover. I love it. 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 Uh, no Easy Feelings is just a really an album that you really have to get into. And it's on Spotify, I believe. Title. It's on Apple Music. Now, the Apple lovers, please support my cousin. Support the mogul. It's out. Download it. Buy it. It's out. It's on there. I also see that it has like three stars because I'm playing it off my iPad. It has three stars. And I and, 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 and I'm just living for it. I'm just living for it. When he told when he when he said it was on Apple Music, I you know I, I was guns are running. I said you know what I gotta get this on my list. But uh, anyway, yes y'all, this 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 is a a, a a a very great day, a great moment because I'm very proud of him. He really really took the time out to dedicate an album that was true to him. Uh, he, he did, he, he, he spoke, it was spoken word and, uh, he just did, he just did an amazing job and I just really, really hope you guys check it out. It is entitled No Easy Feelings by Mogul and it is, um, uh, the, his first album on, um, his first album that appeared on, uh, Apple Music, guys. I'm so happy to see this. Can y'all believe it? This is like a dream come true to me. 
this is the first album. Hopefully, he can upload the rest of his albums because I think that would be very helpful. And this is how he would get royalties if people actually buy it. I think that, um, and it got all the songs as being top songs, so that's so that's good. So this is this is this is a start. And I and, and and I'm 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 living for it. But yes, guys, check out No Easy Feelings. Get into the album.